I'm in the Eastern Shore for the next few days. I'm traveling from Grand Desert to Guysboro. And let me tell you, the Eastern Shore is home to some of the best surfing on North America's East Coast and also some of the best beaches in Nova Scotia. And of course, you know, there's gonna be some great seafood. However, stick around to the end because in Guysboro, I am staying in a yurt on a harbor and it is gorgeous. Starting the day at the Rosen Rooster, it is in Grand Desert, an Acadian region, also known as Grand Desert to the English. It is not large and it's not a desert, but it is home to the one of the best restaurants in the Eastern Shore. So many things to eat for breakfast, but I chose the Acadian Benny, which is with a house-made fish cake, soft poached free-range egg, hollandaise sauce, and then house-made maple bacon baked beans. Looks so good. Hands down, the number one place recommended to me to eat in Eastern Shore has been Harbor Fish and Fries. It's been around for 25 years. It's one of the most popular spots and for good reason. It's fish and chips are legendary and I've heard one of the best in Nova Scotia. I can already tell by looking at it that it's going to be fantastic. Look at this batter. So crispy, so golden. I already know it's going to be good. Well, I hope it is. Otherwise, it'll be the biggest disappointment. Oh, yeah. Really fresh fish, cooked at a high temperature. That's all you need. The fish is so tender. The batter is still crispy, not greasy at all. Ah. Oh. Crunches in your mouth. This is perfect. One of the best fish and chips in Nova Scotia. I'm in Muscadabit Harbor at Dobbit Bakery and they're known to have rustic baked goods, breads, sweets, also fair trade coffee and tea. I asked what the most popular items were on the menu and they said without a doubt it's the thumbprint cookies. Actually I should say I asked what the favorite cookie was. Thumbprint cookie. And then I also got a molasses cookie because I'm not much of a cookie person but I do like molasses and I do like ginger. So I'm going to try the molasses one first. Mmm, very moist. Not too hard at all. Usually molasses cookies are a little bit more dry. So now on to the thumbprint cookie. Mmm, these are almost like little cakes. They're that good. Mm. I can see why they're so popular. I'm not a cookie lover, but if you like soft cookies, You'll definitely love these. This place is so busy. In the 10 minutes that I've been here, so many locals have popped in to grab a coffee, to grab some sweets, and then are on their way back out. I made it to the Railway Museum in Muscadabit. Not only is it a railway museum, but on Sundays they have the farmer's market here. The bandwagon food truck is here. There's also a beer garden here that has live music on Friday nights. There is an artisan store here. Behind me, there is a big walking trail. And then over there, there's an ice cream shop. There is so much to do here at the museum. But I'm gonna start with that first. That might have been one of the smallest museums I've ever been in. Uh, 10 minutes, three small rooms. But you know what? Still some really cool stuff in there, worth going in. Free entry. It's a nice stop in between meals. Although I am not appropriately dressed to be going on any kind of trail, I did want to check it out. It is part of Canada's Great Trail, which uses the old railway tracks. And this section goes from the Muscadabit River into the valley, and it was known as the Blueberry Express. And the reason it was known as that is because if you were on the train, you could jump off, 
go pick blueberries, come back and jump back on. It was that slow. The Bandwagon food truck has been around for five years. It started at Martinique Beach, but now it's located more centrally, and that is fantastic news. It was hard to choose what to eat here. They have chicken tandoori, which is supposed to be great. They also have a burger. The pulled pork is supposed to be excellent too. And the secret is that there's an off menu blue cheese burger, but you gotta know to ask for it, never on the menu. I decided to get the mac and cheese spring rolls. It comes with a number of dipping sauces that you can choose from. There's a garlic mayo. I got the sriracha mayo because I like something a little bit spicy. And then also you can just get a sweet chili sauce. But let's take a look. It's just crispy on the outside, gooey on the inside. Oh, but let's try the dipping sauce. Mmm. Apparently this is so popular, it sells out every day. I was lucky to get it, which is why I tried it. Mmm. We made it to Martinique. This is such a gorgeous beach. But wow, is it packed. You've got to come early if you want parking or come like us after 4 p.m. It is gorgeous here though. Lots of people surfing, families. It's closer to Halifax and because of the surfing, I think that's why it gets so many more people. But this sand, it's so soft. Stopped into Uprooted Market and Cafe. And let me tell you, that market has the most beautiful fruits and vegetables. Everything looks so fresh. It's all local and it's gorgeous. I did come for the cafe and while the pesto chicken is by far the most popular item on the menu, I had to get the vegetable sandwich after seeing everything in the market. How could you turn this down? So it's seasonal vegetables on molasses brown bread and with dill mayo. You can also get Dijon mayo, but apparently dill mayo is the most popular. This is so fresh. Mm. The bread is amazing. I know the pesto chicken is probably fantastic too, but these vegetables are everything I need right now. Mm. Here at Weber's General Store for breakfast, they have everything here from fishing supplies to souvenirs, regular groceries. I see some uh, Canadian beef jerky too. I think it's from Pirate Cove, maybe? Anyway, we're here for breakfast. We're having the Good Morning Plate, which has two eggs, one choice of meat, fries, toast. But you can also, if you're hungry, get the Weber Plate, which has three eggs, three types of meat, along with the rest of it. Lots of options here. You can either eat in at the cafe or take it to go. Just a great solid breakfast to start the day. Poached eggs are cooked perfectly. And then also we were so specific about the bacon that I felt like we were a little high maintenance, but lately our bacon has been not cooked or like cooked to a crisp. And so we explained what we wanted and then gave it to us exactly how we wanted it. Look at this. This bacon is cooked perfectly all the way through, but not burnt. Mm. And we made it to Taylor Head Beach. So the Eastern Shore is home to some of the best beaches in Nova Scotia. But this one was at the top of my list because from above, it looks stunning. I have to say on the ground, it looks so nice as well. Sounds good. 
Taylor Head Beach is definitely one of the best beaches in Nova Scotia. There are no crowds. It is so beautiful there, but it was very hot. And so it's time for a cool one. I'm at Sober Island Brewing, which is in Sheet Harbor. And if you don't know the legend of Sober Island, which I did not, let me tell you. So back in the day, uh, when there were explorers discovering all the islands, each time they hit land, they would toast. Now, Eastern Shore is full of tons of islands and inlets, so that's a lot of drinking. And the legend says they actually ran out of alcohol, and so the last island, there was nothing left, and they called it Sober Island. Now, thankfully, the brewery has lots of things to drink. Um, I got a flight, and it has the Marigold Blonde, the Beachstone Bitter, the Wavebreaker IPA and the Blueberry Blonde, which is right now the most popular item on the menu. They also have a Beth's Black Oyster Stout. I didn't get that because I don't love stouts, but I do like blueberry drinks. Mmm, -hmm. oh, that's very good. The vibe here is very laid back, service is very friendly, they have great music here, and then on Saturdays from two to five, they also have live music, so it's a great time to come. So we just hopped next door to the Henley House and we're here for lunch. The patio here is gorgeous overlooking the water it is so nice here i'm getting the chowder which i heard is one of the best in nova scotia and even before we ordered they gave us these tea biscuits it's not surprising they have great tea biscuits because they also offer afternoon tea on sundays but you have to order in advance however it's only 15 dollars. that is a steal all right, it is chowder time. I am really looking forward to this, given that it's been given high praises by my friends at David Sky. Mmm. Mmm. The broth is so flavorful, and it has something in it. I can't quite peg the flavor. Mmm. I don't know, but it is very tasty. This cup is a generous portion. Lots of fish in it. Mmm. This is really, really good. And of course, it comes with a tea biscuit, which I found out they do make in-house. And that just makes it so much better. Mmm. This tea biscuit is so good. So good. We're here at Beanie's Bistro in Sherbrooke, right down on the main street. And you need to get here a bit early because it's only open between nine and two, but it is worth coming early. They have fantastic sandwiches. It's such a cozy setting. And I actually got the lobster sandwich, which is more like a lobster roll with lots of lobster. Mm. Ooh, that is really good lobster. It's also full cafe, so if you want to come in, just have a coffee, latte, tea. They've got lots of options here. Mmm, this is good.
the double bed yurt perfect for friends and with the windows down it's like you're outside it's gorgeous Let's show you you can also put the windows up they were up when we got here but this is all wool because it is an all-year round yurt and so if you want the air circulating there's also a wood stove there I definitely don't think we need them there are two yurts here and the view it is gorgeous right over there is guys row Final day in the Eastern Shore. We're at the Days Bar Manor Inn in Guysboro. Stayed here last night, had a fantastic dinner. This building is from the 1800s and it is a beautiful place to stay. But it's time to go. So let me know where should we head next.